Back with the Dow Jones Industrial Average actually down 14, despite some good numbers we had coming out this morning with unemployment, retail sales, and the like. Rob, yeah, I thought it would. I thought we'd be up today based on the, that news. Um, real quick, a couple quick stories out there. CVS Caremark, large provider of prescription drugs in the United States, they're higher today. They beat forecast. Uh, Sprint Nextel's picking up Clearwire. And the number one app on the App Store now, the number one app on the iPhone 5 is Google Maps. So this morning, Google Maps is being released into Apple's uh, ecosystem, and you're seeing Apple stock get hit, Google stock climb higher on that news. I've been playing with the new Apple, the new uh, Google Maps app. It's not like it used to be. Okay. It's not that good. It's better than the Apple Maps, which are just horrible. I'm just not an Apple kind of guy. Yeah, I, I know. This, you I love Apple as a, as a company, though, to invest in, but not as a, as a user. And I use Google Maps on my Google Android yeah. every, every single day. So we had a big drop here in the number of Americans filing for unemployment last week. We had the retail sales numbers up. Uh, new homes going into foreclosure. That number seems to be dropping. We got some pretty good economic signs coming out here. Yeah, I think the retail sales in November has to be the number one for me. Uh, okay. Demand for auto bills better than expected. That's nice to see. Holiday shoppers are snapping up electronics and clothes. Uh, retail says growth less automobiles though was flat that's worthy of noting so some of the things that Walmart said yesterday seem to be playing out on a true level retail sales at control group was up about five tenths of a percent overall versus expectations about three tenths of a percent and back to the applications for benefits of unemployment last week's numbers were heavily skewed because the early closure tied towards Thanksgiving mm. so some states had some pickup numbers this week to pick up on the piggyback of uh, the shorter week the week previous and so even with that there was a drop so that's a pretty good sign it's nice to see um, a number under 400,000 is good 343,000 is very very good and just lastly quickly with the opening bell we had a Bay Area company a ringing in the NASDAQ a solar city going public today I just added them to my extensive list of Bay Area publicly traded companies around eight dollars a share what do you think of the future of solar is here that was government subsidies still gonna be around to help that industry yeah that's something you and I talked about yesterday here on the news first solar was named uh, one of the worst stocks to own for 2013 solar city I tend not to like the IP IPOs in the first year. You got to give them some time to let some of the insiders sell out. And then, as the public, you could take a look at it six months, nine months, 12 months down the road. All right, thank you, Rob. And we'll check back with Rob at 9.15 with today's winners and losers on Wall Street. James Dyer. Right, very good, gentlemen. Let's turn our attention to weather and traffic. We'll begin with the forecast. Eric is following some really cold temperatures.